All right, we are back, round one, and seems great. We could do some fixing for uh, our second color, like a Malice would be amazing. But I like the fact that we have one of our two desert, and the Weaver of Current is also potentially quite powerful. Yeah, Manalise is right now the best thing we can draw, I believe. Interesting, what's going on? Why aren't you playing Kexi? Okay, an aggro deck. Still gonna play the Weaver here. Might just die, but if it doesn't die, cool. Next time we can go Hydra plus um, Thirst, which would be good. Okay, well, it died, <laughs> which, which I kind of expected, to be honest. Just gonna play Hydra. Hope they don't have the Puncturing Blow and pass. They're on Mono Red so far. Torn Moloch, sure. Okay, Mana Leaf is good. So, I think we'll do that now. Even though I can like the idea of using Cartwish when they are tapped out. I think this is fine. Get four damage in, pass the turn. And now we can either Beetle or Stessin Strangler. So, should be good, and the other one is still missing a color. Oh, looks like they have a uh, Kindled Fury. Well, I guess I'm gonna take three. I mean, I can just destroy it. I mean, I'm, I'm fine. I'm winning the race right now, and they're stuck on land, it looks like, so. Well, not anymore, I guess. Ratchet Camel, okay. Uh, what do we do here? We attack with the Hydra, and I think we just play Decimator Beetle. Do we play around Electrify by putting the counter on the Hydra, or do we play around Puncturing Blow, putting the counter on the Beetle itself? It's kind of close. Back in the days, you would always try to protect your Beetle, if you could, against Red Deck, against Electrify. Now that there's Puncturing Blow as the more common common, if I may say so, uh, it might be a little bit different. I think we'll still go for protection against Electrify because it looks like we cannot really lose if this survives. And this is still pretty good as a 3 3 on this board anyway. I'm just gonna block with the Hydra. If they have, if they do indeed have the Kindled Fury, I don't really mind that. Open fire, Oof, sure. I guess I were a little bit surprised by my block here because I did not block last last turn. But last turn I did care about my card, as now I don't care about it anymore. That's the that's the big difference. Okay, let's blow up the camel while they are out of things. And I think we can just, well, let's start off with cycling beneath the sand, actually. Uh, okay, now we'll just strangle the, the entangler. Yes, please. The Scrab God. That's strong. That's very strong. But we have Lethal on board, luckily enough. <coughs> mm, 
God is pretty frightening, not gonna lie. Okay, well. So yeah, red, black aggro of some sort, plus a scarab god, which is super frightening. And we don't have any way to deal with that permanently. I guess thirst, but if they get to draw a card and you know, all that good stuff, put some minus one counter, it's probably not very good for us. Yeah, the scrap god is gonna be tough to beat most of the time. Though I guess Kill Behemoth can hold the fort for a little while. Chandra's defeat is definitely coming in. Maybe Blur of Blades. They shown this amount of one of less dudes. Can easily see cutting an Epo. We have enough late game threats. And maybe even Hour of Eternity. I don't think this matchup is about is gonna be about using Hour of Eternity really. And do we add one red? So we have more red? I think we do. Okay. Yeah, the Scarab God is super frightening. Alright, perfect. <laughs> uh, we don't have a desert, but that's definitely a keep, and I think I will keep that on top. Alright, well, the mana is good, if anything, and we have a decent curve. I'm really worried about Scrap God, because it, it feels like this is probably a solid matchup for us, but... Oh boy. Any solid matchup can be ruined right away by stupid gods. They are a little bit too powerful. A little bit too powerful. <laughs> Nothing. Uh, I don't really want them to spray my Naga Vitalist. I'd rather have them spray the Trial of Strength token if they do have the spray. Yeah, they do. So I'm just gonna jam that. Another Entangler, sure. Now we can play Vitalist. If we draw land, we can jam skill Behemoth, maybe. Uh, we can play the Sphinx in any case. They are a little bit stuck on land here, which is also somewhat good for us. <sighs> yeah, I think we were trying to play a uh, skill behemoth. But the unburden is really good here though, I'm not gonna lie. Well, it seems tough for them to deal with a uh, skill behemoth. Also, once we have skill behemoth, if we ever draw a cartridge of strength, it's kind of game over because we get to kill something for sure. We'll get a huge trampler. Well, I guess not anymore. <laughs> oh, that's clunky. Not gonna play it. Don't want them to know I have nothing. I'm gonna force them to exert, and if they don't exert, I'm gonna trade. They are playing lands, though it looks like they might have the Scarab God. But there's not a ton we can do around that, anyway. Oof, that's brutal. Yeah, them using Unburden while we had a bunch of spell, but we couldn't cast them. <laughs> and now we are... Uh... Yeah, okay, GG's. I don't think you should... Yeah, whatever, okay. Nothing we can do here. Uh... You know, it is what it is. Hopefully we can dodge it for the third and final game. That'd be good. Uh, but yeah, the I do like uh, Hour of Devastation Limited as a whole. I think it's pretty cool, well-balanced, fun to draft, with a lot of things going on for it, but the gods are just way too much. It's like, Unless you're playing red or black and you're, you're you have your final reward or puncturing blow, they they will just win the game, and that's that's not really funny for I don't know. 
You don't even have to think when you play them. You can just play them, block anything. If they have a trick, whatever, you 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 will replay it next turn. It's like these cards are insane. So I'm not the biggest fan. Like here we have probably a good matchup. It looks like, I think. But the simple fact that they have a god and that they might draw it from time to time makes things incredibly hard, way harder than they they should be, I guess, or they could be, which is rough. But you know, such is life, such is magic, the gathering. Land? All right. Because aggro decks are pretty weak to uh, Sand Strangler, Skill Behemoth, and whatnot. So I think, again, in general, this is a good matchup. Now, the god is just. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what we are supposed to do against the god. That's, that, that's, that's the thing. Alright. Just gonna drop that. Search the Eternal so it cannot block my beast. If they have a removal, well, whatever, they have a removal. Uh, I have another one in hand, so this is... I guess Struggle Survive actually deals with the god, I forgot about that, which is really nice. Yeah, open fire that thing, sure. Yeah, I completely forgot about that, but that's pretty amazing. Unless they re-top deck it, obviously. <laughs> Which uh, is uh, which is a risk, I guess. <laughs> a braid, my strangler, no problem, no problem. Oh, and now we hope we can just draw a cartridge of strength, which would end the game in short order. Especially since we actually do have one of the on the the actual only answer to the god in our deck. Alright, that's strong. <laughs> Are they just flooded here? What's going on? So the god comes back at the end of their turn, so if we want, I believe, I would have to read it again. Blow the cat. Okay, sure. No problem. Put me down to 14. Maybe. I mean, it's risky. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure if I kill the god right now, if they had played the god, it comes back to their hand next end step. Uh, so, you know, this would have been an option. Land is good. No reason to let them know I'll have a 7 power trampler before. I guess they are jumping anyway, maybe. Uh, and given the size of our creature, Hour of Devastation doesn't really sweep the board here. So, I guess I could have Black and Wrath, the, the other Wrath, that would be annoying. Well, that's pretty good. I think I'd rather draw the Hydra first, I already have a removal. But here it's pretty much them having Bomb 2's Last Reckoning or losing. I don't think there's any other way around. Well, I guess technically they are not dead here. Yeah, okay. I was starting to think if I wanted to use my <laughs> Great Rainfall on their crappy creature to make sure I had the kill. And I was trying to figure out if there's anything at instant speed they could do to deal with my creature. And I think the answer is no. So I think I would have gone for the kill, but they conceded. Okay, good. Damn. No god. No god, game three, and we got to play our game plan, which was nice. That was round one. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, and see you for the second round.